Hi everyone, thank you for being here. My name is Oshina. I made a video called Christian Fiction for Beginners or like a Christian Fiction Starter Kit. And so I'll link it down below. And this is gonna be the nonfiction version of this. So if you are looking to get into Christian nonfiction and you don't know where to start and maybe you've never read Christian nonfiction before, um, these are my recommendations. I think that a lot of them have easy writing. A lot of them have a lot of like solid Christian teaching in them um, to give you like a good foundation. And I think a lot of them are good starting points to go find more nonfiction once you read these ones. So these are all my recommendations. I'll write them all down below in the description too, but I'm excited to share these books with you. So um, some of them, I mean, actually all of them are pretty well known. Yeah, I'll just kind of go in the order of like newest Christian to not. <laughs> so the two books that I'd recommend to start with if you are kind of a brand new Christian are these two books. And they might seem a little unconventional, but I'll, I have my reasons. So first of all, In the Grip of Grace by Max Licato. This is an older published book. I don't actually know when it's published. 1996. Okay. So hopefully you'll be able to find it. I'm sure it has like a lot of different covers too. This is like the hardcover version. But this is all about how when you have given your life to Jesus and accepted him into your heart, you are now in his grip of grace and there is nothing that can pull you out of his grace. And I, I just felt like the way that he told that, he used stories, it just really resonated with my heart and it, I believed him. Like there's something about the way that he delivered this that I just feel like a lot of people would connect with because it is told in story form. Like he uses a story to kind of make his point about different kind of aspects of how grace interacts with our life and it's it's so beautiful i highly recommend this um really to anyone but i do think new christians should know like now that you have jesus you are in his grip of grace and you are secure forever and just kind of like rooting that truth in you because it will come unrooted very easily in my experience and I just think it, this is a great place to start. Okay, so then the other one is Tailor Made by Alex Seeley. And this one came out of nowhere for me. Um, this was a, a gift from Bailey. And thank you, Bailey, because I loved this book. It's all about how Jesus created us exactly the way we're supposed to be with his like mercy and sovereignty in mind. So he has made us to be people that can change and grow, um, but that also there's core things about us that are exactly what they're supposed to be, and you were not an accident. And so if you have come either from a, not a Christian home or just feeling like you are not good enough in who you are, this book is all about how you are good enough and how God saw you in your mother's womb and you are here for a purpose. And ta uh, Taylor, <laughs> Alex tells her story of how God revealed that to her and it's really beautiful. So you do get a lot of Alex's life, but then she pulls in like biblical truths about our own personal identity in Jesus. And I really think that new Christians would benefit from this so much um, just to really know your Id identity, um, your new identity in Jesus. Um, so yeah, highly recommend this. I think it's great. Okay, moving forward. Um, I also recommend Gentle and Lowly for new Christians or just like if you haven't read this before, you should read it. <laughs> so it's by D Dane Ortland, And this book is similar to In the Grip of Grace where it really talks about Jesus's heart for us and how secure we are in his love. This is just such a beautiful book. It it talks about all different aspects to do with living this life with Jesus and all of the things that come up that make us question or doubt our faith, um, our value, and the goodness of God. And it has a scripture to meditate on um, that really shows like, no, this is the truth. And Oh, it's so good. So the gentle and lowly comes from a passage in the Bible because that's how Jesus describes himself. And they talk about that 
um, pretty in-depth of what being gentle and lowly means that Jesus is. He, last year? Last year we did a read-along for this, so I'll link the first live show- li <laughs> I'll link the first live show down below because we did discuss all of the chapters in this book, so if you do end up reading it, um, I would love for you to watch those live shows because we do talk in-depth about them, and so it's kind of like you participated. Um, so definitely recommend this one. Okay, next, if you need encouragement to continue going after Jesus and, you know, staying the path, um, highly recommend Along, Along Obedience in the Same Direction by Eugene Peterson. <sighs> this book is so good, okay? So it does focus on the Psalms of Ascent. There are Psalms in the Bible that are called Psalms of Ascent, and you should read it to find out what that means. <laughs> um, but it's basically, yeah, he studies the Psalms, but it's really all about staying true to your faith, holding on to your faith in the hard times, and that like following Jesus and getting to eternity in the end is all about a long obedience in the same direction. And you can like swerve a little bit, but you're always going in the direction towards Jesus. And there's power in that. And he just encourages us to keep holding on and, and doing it. Um, I was super encouraged by this book. Uh, yeah, I just, I think that this should be a must read for all Christians because of everything I just said. It's really good. Okay, this is a classic, Mere Christianity. This one is a little harder to understand, so that's why I didn't put it so much earlier in this video because personally, like, if you weren't already a Christian or if you're not comfortable reading books, like, on a regular basis, you know, I will say the writing in this book is a little more difficult to understand. And I actually read this for the first time in university for a class. So I was like studying it in an academic setting. And I feel like if I wasn't in that setting to kind of like learn from other people, I would be a little confused reading it. So if you have read this and you feel confused and you're like, why, do, why does everyone say it's so amazing? I'm with you because the writing is sometimes hard to understand. And I, but I also don't want to scare people away from it because there's so much good truth in this book and it's a classic and a, you know, a top seller for a reason, but it does take some like slower reading. You can't whiz through this book. This is a like page by page type of reading <laughs> that you have to do. Um, but if you can give that time to it, the things that C.S. Lewis like pulls out of humanity and how we work and what our tendencies are and like who God is and right and wrong and all the things, um, just so much amazing insight. And I learned so much reading this book. And this book in particular made me feel like I wasn't crazy for being a Christian. <laughs> it like he is quite logical in this book. And he logically looks at why believing in a God makes sense. Um, so that was like really encouraging for me <laughs> when I was in university. And I'm like, am I crazy for being a Christian? Like, am I just one of those lunatics that like, I believe in something that isn't there. And it's just to make me feel good. No, he is there. He is real. And this book helps you see that I think so there you go okay next I recommend what if it's true this book is really cool because Charles Martin takes some core bible stories and he turns them into a story so he does write characters from the bible like to like speak in this book there's like little snippets of story but then like once he d tells that story he looks at the truth in the story and then like writes about that so if that makes sense basically his thing is like what if everything in the bible actually happened and is actually true and you can actually trust the word of god and that's kind of his whole pitch like you can trust the word of god it is solid and steadfast and you can trust it and that was so cool to me i really liked reading about that and then this the way he wrote his stories i thought was really well done and just like makes you think. And then what I really loved was at the end of every chapter, he had such a personal prayer for us to pray for ourselves. Like it was really good. I loved the prayers that that stands out a lot. So yeah, definitely recommend this book. Okay, lastly, I recommend Waymaker by Anne Voskamp. And I'm recommending this because in particular, I feel like it'll speak to women a little bit more. But 
she just shares her heart in such a poetic way. I feel like she speaks to disappointment really well. She she put words to it in, in her own life and then shared how God met her and gave her hope through every disappointment and how we can trust our futures with him. Um, so I just felt like this was a really great encouragement to just keep on living for Jesus and seeking after him and trusting his heart for you. Yeah. And so it's, it's definitely written more poetic, I would say. So there's definitely like a writing style to it, but I loved it. I thought it was beautiful and highly recommend it. So that is everything. Those are the books. I really hope you guys got some recommendations from here. I will list them all down below. Um, if there's any books that I didn't mention that you're like, oh, this would be a good one too. Um, I'm trying to keep people in mind who haven't read Christian nonfiction before. I feel like these are really good places to start. Of course, there's so many other good books too. Um, and I do have a couple other recommendations on my channel, so I'll link them down below too. I, I might try to bring in a little bit more nonfiction to my channel because I do read nonfiction on a regular basis, but I don't talk about it as much. Um, but I think I would like to because it's just so great for like supplementing your faith and your Bible study. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.